Have you ever looked at your content that you filmed on your phone and thought, what the f is this? Or have you ever looked at someone else's content that they filmed on a phone and thought, hmm, I wonder how they did that? Hi guys, and in today's video, we will be looking at how to film on your phone and how to utilize the tools and the settings the correct way for an optimal and aesthetic video recording. Okay, so just for reference, I am going to talk about the iPhone settings as well as tools. So I get tons and tons of questions in my DMs on the daily, whether or not content creators should invest in a camera and a white camera, etc., etc. And the hard truth is if you cannot create content that is high of quality and high of content quality with a phone, then your content's gonna look the same no matter what device you use. So luckily I'm here to tell you guys my most treasured tips and tricks on how to film with your phone so that your content can look like this. And the first thing that you are going to look at is your settings. So let's go and do that. So I'm going to show you guys exactly, exactly my settings for my phone. So going to settings and then you scroll down to camera. And then you will see it's format, record video, slow-mo. You get stereo sound on or off. You get grid mirror front camera, prioritize faster shooting and smart HDR. So the first thing that you wanna go into is record video. And mine is at 1080p HD at 60 frames per second. 60 frames per second because it's so much smoother than the 30 frames per second. And 1080p, very high quality for the next thing is your grid so this is basically just going to help you with the composition of your frame so whether that is dead center on your left or on your right or my right and my left okay so the grid composition is actually just optional but it's going to give you that you know aesthetic feel because you are following rule of thirds it's lines or grids that interconnect and they create focal points in your frame or in your, on your photo or on your video and that is just going to create that nice aesthetic kind of almost film like effect that's just going to help if you do photography on your phone or if you want to record on your phone to make it a little bit more aesthetic so now let's talk a little bit about gear for the video that i'm shooting i won't be using gear but i do feel that it's quite important to mention gear so i have here a full-size tripod that can kind of extend out i think into almost 1.6 meters and i have this mini tripod this is actually um, so perfect for like if you are vlogging because it has these kind of grips for your hand and you can obviously link your camera to this it comes with this attachment that you kind of put on like that and this can actually connect your phone so, so that is quite nice in terms of a gear i feel like you always need something stable especially if you are going to do transition type of reels or tiktoks or videos and then as i've mentioned in my previous video if you have not watched that already i will link it up here i do prefer to shoot in daylight it's honestly going to be your best friend Artificial light does not create the same effect as natural light. And I usually like to take my video content either between 10 a.m. in the mornings up until 3 p.m. and the afternoon because that is the time where the sun is probably the most brightest and it just creates that super nice and warm, cozy aesthetic to my videos. Okay, so now let's move on to shooting the actual content. So for the video that I'm going to take, I'm not going to use any tripod whatsoever. Everything is going to be handheld. And I think that is going to probably be the most valuable to you because you won't always have a tripod with you handy. So the first tip on how to have like this smooth handheld kind of video quality to use your entire body when you record your videos. Our hands are quite flimsy 
um, and that's how you can get that real shaky type of quality so what i like to do is i like to either put on a pop socket or just like this grip over here that you can slide your fingers through and then sometimes i will rest my hand underneath the phone like so if you're not going to use sound obviously and that is just going to give me a nice movement and i feel like another kind of movement that you can do is to use your entire kind of like arm and not just your forearm so that's kind of two of the most important tips if you want to create smoother looking video content with your phone without using a tripod so when i do start a new reel or instagram video or even a story i do like to introduce my topic or whatever the subject of the video is I like to introduce that and that is called like kind of like an establishing shot you can either use your face or your body or whatever the product is as kind of like an introduction to your audience's eye that is going to also create that super super aesthetic look to your videos and for that you want to create kind of like an in-depth type of look so you never want something to be flat i want to create a type of 3d more dimensional in-depth type of introduction to your video so what i like to do is i like to either kind of incorporate textures flowers or as you can see behind me um, i have pampas over here that is just going to create that really really nice texture in your videos and i usually have that in the forefront because then your camera is going to blur that part out and that is just going to create that super super aesthetic look as you would see someone doing with a professional camera so you can get that same effect with your phone so now let's go step by step through the video that i shot that i posted onto my instagram reels and the first thing or like the first opening scene was these coffee grounds falling onto the flat surface so what i did was i did this handheld and you see that smooth kind of panning to the left and then again panning back to the right i actually used my face mask to prop my phone onto with that being said i like to turn my phone upside down because that is going to create that super super nice elongated type of look and perspective and it's also going to give that a little bit more of a cinematic type of look because our phone's camera are at the top of the phone and not in the center as with a camera it's going to give a different look and hence why i turn it around try that when you record a new little reel or something just for practice and let me know down in the comments what do you think about it do you like that kind of perspective and i edit this video actually on my phone as well if you would like to see how I edit on my phone using a free app, let me know in the comments. I would love to share how I edited this video. Okay, thank you guys so much for joining me in this video and I hope you could learn a few tips and tricks from me. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.